hello welcome to a new week now I say that so I can remind myself that this is not part of last week's footage because I haven't edited that video yet because I've been tired but that package that was supposed to have been my mouth's last week from Ambience by Sarah is now here this week so I am going to be opening that up now to show you guys the melts that I should have gotten last week. Okie dokie, I'm so excited. Oh, so cute. I love the tissue paper and the stickers. Oh, it's just so, so cute. Just gives it that special little touch, you know? Alrighty, so I'm just gonna open this up. Oh, I've just sticky taped myself. Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> okay, so I chose all of these melts based on the fact that they were supposed to be red. Okay, so boysenberry is definitely red. That can definitely go into the contenders for the red wax melt week. Red skins also has red coloring in it. Uh, uh, I mean, I would be nice if the red coloring was in the top two, but at the same time, at least it's still red. So definitely, definitely, potentially in the, uh, in the, whatchamacallits, I mean in the potential pile for Red Wax Melt Week. Black Raspberry is actually very dark and more sort of like burgundy, but I love it. That looks beautiful. And then Black Raspberry and Vanilla is kind of similar to Black Raspberry, but it's more sort of like, yeah, kind of more purpley burgundy. So that means Boysenberry is definitely, definitely going to be going into my potentials for my red wax melt week. I'm so excited. And also look at their new labeling. This is what it used to look like. And this is what it looks like now. I love it. I also got some new keychains today. I mean, I don't know if they came today, but I checked the mail today. <laughs> so I got an orange one. I got a dark purple one and then a dark blue one. And she also sent the light blue tassel for the light blue keychain. So I'm super, super excited about that. I have so many. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my goodness, I have 10 keychains from Imogen now. <laughs> and this week's wax melt theme is um, this. So it's very brown. <laughs> so I'm not gonna use a keychain in the photos this particular week because I don't have a brown one. I should probably order a brown one, but in there, in there today, we have butterscotch pudding. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath. And then downstairs, we have this one from Bird Bath and Body. So I believe that this one is uh, bourbon, vanilla, bourbon, something, vanilla, bourbon. I'm gonna have to check for sure, but it's something along the lines of vanilla bourbon. <laughs> Good morning, my lovies. I was supposed to update a little bit more yesterday, but I didn't. So I'm sorry about that. My lip is up to the stage where it uh, just pisses blood every now and then, which is fun. Fun indeed. Very, very fun. But I just got home from work. It's uh, 8.47 in the morning. I worked 5.30 to 8.30. And today's wax melts are going to be maple syrup pancakes from A Little Luxury and then caramel kiss from Ambience by Sarah. Hello. Welcome to Wednesday. It's Wednesday, right? I'm fairly certain that it's Wednesday. Oh, well, if it's not, then what is? But yeah, I'm fairly certain that it's Wednesday. So I have just recorded my 100 baby challenge for today and my wax melts for today are going to be honey gingerbread from Sweet Cherry Soda upstairs and Cole's mud cake from Ambience by Sarah downstairs. I'll show you them in a sec. But yeah, so we're actually out of lockdown now. There's still restrictions, but we're technically out of like lockdown. We're out of hard lockdown. Oh, look at my green screens are sitting over there. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna be chucking these on fairly soon. So Cole's Mud Cake from ABS, as I was saying, and then Honey Gingerbread from Sweet Cherry Soda. It's much, much later. And I, did I say I already recorded my video earlier? I don't, look, I don't even know, but I did record my video earlier and then I edited one video and got it up and, oh, oh my God. Okay, so I wasn't feeling very well. I felt very, very nauseous in my stomach. So I went and I laid down for a bit, fell asleep for a tiny little bit. And then I woke up from feeling so sick. And basically I think my GERD is acting up, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease. 
Uh, it's basically when heartburn goes rogue and it turns into a chronic condition and I suffer from that. Uh, recently it has been really really bad, like super super bad. And like I have my lantern, but it really is not helping very much. I think I need to go get some Somac tablets. I have a feeling that they're a little stronger than just my lant tabs, but I mean this is what I have for right now, so I guess I'll just kind of chew on one of these, maybe two, and see how I go, but oh my god, I feel so sick. I had to call in sick to work tomorrow, even though I got offered an extra hour and a half worth of work, which would have been great, but I usually when I feel like this, it lasts for hours and hours and hours and hours, sometimes 24 hours, so I wouldn't trust that I'd be able to get enough freaking sleep tonight in order to actually do the shift tomorrow, so I mean, that sucks, but... There's literally nothing I can do. Ew, it's actually Thursday night and uh, I'm having a bath. This is Sweet Cherry Soda's Cucumber Honeydew bath bomb. I'm pretty sure I got it in my mystery box that I unboxed like probably about a month or so ago. It's really, really pretty. Like, look at this. <laughs> it smells so damn good as well. I'm also pairing it with some lime and grapefruit salts that I already put in the tub before I put the water in. And then I've also got three of these little sample packets, which I'm going to be chucking in there as well in a little, little bit. I've just been taking pictures. That's what I've been doing since I changed how I do stuff on my channel as of recently. And then I put them onto Instagram like this. So that is what I've been doing instead of making videos out of every single bath bomb recently. If you guys were interested in that at all. Don't mind how actually terrible I look. I need to wash my hair and everything. That's why I'm taking a, a bath. Oh, there is some hair on my lens. But yeah, and also there's probably food in my teeth. So I'm just going to cover my mouth a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to jump in the bath really soon once the bath bomb is done dissolving. And wash my hair and then probably just go to bed. So I, as I said yesterday, I called in sick to work for today. So... Obviously, I didn't go to work today, and I'm still kind of feeling the the Jared issues, but I don't know, I guess I'll just figure it out. I don't start work till 7 a.m. tomorrow, so I'm going to have a quick bath, jump into bed, hopefully get some sleep, and then I think I'm working three and a half hours, and then I guess I can just relax for the weekend, and hopefully things will just, you know, work out. Just thought that I had an update, then my bath was really nice. Okay, so I don't know... I don't think, yeah, no, I didn't end up doing any more updates yesterday. But uh, my Kmart order finally came today. The order that I made like two freaking weeks ago. So we got this, as well as two more of the little cheap warmers, the little wax warmers. A really cool hallway table that I'm going to set up in the bedroom. Oh, I'm getting messages. And, oh, what else? And a new kettle. We got a new kettle. Uh, I'll pop in a picture here. I mean, it's just a kettle, you know, because our old kettle uh, is perfectly fine, but I constantly have it in the bathroom upstairs and my husband gets annoyed if the kettle's not downstairs so that he can have his tea in the morning. So he hasn't been using the kettle, like he's too lazy to just like bring it downstairs with him when he goes downstairs in the mornings. Instead, he's been boiling water on the stove like a loser. So I did go ahead and I bought a second kettle so the brand new one can stay downstairs and the one that I have in the bathroom can stay in the bathroom. The reason why it's in the bathroom is actually because our water is not hot. It's like lukewarm at best. <laughs> so in order for my bath bombs to actually like work very well and also just to have a nice warm bath, even just like just warm, I need to boil the kettle a few times and top the water up in the bathtub with the, with the hot boiling water. Even after I get in the tub, I still have to put a couple extra loads of kettle water into the tub with me. And so yeah, that's uh, that, that happens and uh, it's not fun, but that's what I've got to do in order to have a warm bath. Now I need to put the wax melts on for today, but I'm going to put them into the two new warmers. So they're just sitting right here on the desk with me, but I've just got to take them out of their bubble wrap. But yeah, so that's that. Oh, I also had to leave work early <laughs> because Jerd is just a bitch. So downstairs we've got Winnie the Pooh on from Ambience with Sarah, or I mean it's about to be on anyways. It smells so good. It's like fresh but sweet. It kind of smells a little bit like honey with like a floral note, 
but it smells really really good like oh my goodness mmm I, I, I can't explain it it just smells so good and then upstairs because my husband's a sook I have to have the hot cross buns on up here which I mean I'm not sooking about I love hot cross buns but he had a little sniff of that and he was like gagging so he's gonna get the beautiful Winnie the Pooh downstairs which he wasn't a big fan of but you know what he can get over it and then I'm gonna have the hot cross buns on upstairs from sweet cherry soda so my worst fears have also come true in the sense that, hang on a second, had to move that fake plant away from the warmer because I didn't want it to catch fire or anything like that. I put it close for photos, but I don't actually like it to stay close. So anyway, okay, so <sighs> I am addicted to caffeine. Unfortunately, I have lots of caffeine every day to keep myself awake for work because if I don't, then I'm a literal zombie and I mean, there's not much I can do about that. Uh, it's just, that's how I've been for a really long time now. And like on the weekends, if I don't wake up early enough to have a coffee in the morning, then I just have a gigantic headache and just feel completely wrecked for the entire rest of the day until I have just something that has caffeine in it. <laughs> and because of this, it's really active, it's really aggravating my GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease so it's uh it's it's hard right now <laughs> i have to change up my entire diet until my symptoms kind of are uh managed so i have to be on a low fat low carb diet uh and also it doesn't help that i'm vegetarian i refuse to eat meat and also i'm somewhat allergic to dairy so I can process dairy just fine, I'm not lactose intolerant, it's not the lactose that actually affects me, it's something else about the makeup of dairy, I don't know, it might be like a bacteria, or I don't know what on earth the hell diggy poos it is, but I get massive headaches, my throat swells, and my entire body has aches all over it as well. And I don't get like dizzy or nauseous or anything like that. Sometimes I do, but mostly it's just the body aches and the headache is so bad and then my throat swells mostly when I eat cheese. And that kind of sucks because my favorite kind of cake is cheesecake. <laughs> Love that for me. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just, I'm in a world of pain and anguish right now and I can't catch a goddamn break. So I guess wish me luck for the future. Cause uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's actually the next week. It's 7, 12 in the morning on Monday, the 2nd of August. And I didn't uh, finish off the vlog last week. So I am just gonna, I guess, finish it off now. And then right after this, I'll start off next week's, this week's vlog. But yeah, so basically on the weekend, I just was not having a very good time with my Jude uh, symptoms. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's pretty much all that there is to it. I literally slept all day Saturday, had a horrible day yesterday, was in bed all day as well. I'm home early from work today because I am literally having way too many symptoms of GERD to actually even work, so that's always fun. So uh, yeah, love that for me. But anyway, I shall uh, end this vlog off here and then start off the next week's vlog right after this one but yeah so also I've got to obviously edit today's uh vlog which was supposed to go up like two days ago but anyway that doesn't matter I'll see you guys next week bye